Welcome back to DXB Today, where we continue our deep dive into all things artificial intelligence. Bit of a theme running through the show today. Trying to look at it from a number of different angles, from the entrepreneurial side of things, the legal, the ethical side of things. Uh, and now we're going to take a bit of a deep dive focus into how it's impacting the jobs of the future. Uh, our next guest is a French designer and technologist with over 15 years of experience in designing mobile applications, websites and more. Uh, he is, of course, digital designer and technologist, uh, Dom Monhart, who joins us live here in the studio. Thanks for joining us. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Listen, uh, you've been sitting uh, patiently listening to all the, the conversations that are ongoing about the impact that artificial intelligence is having on our lives today. I'm sure you've been embracing its power uh, of late. But how much of a tool of enablement and empowerment is it for young people looking to break into the job sector now? Yeah, I think it's, it's revolutionary. Um, AI tools are becoming more and more powerful every day. So I think we're really entering a new era where everyone can create things uh, themselves using AI. And uh, that's the beauty of it, that's what I've done. Uh, I've experimented <laughs> some, some things uh, and uh, it's, it's really empowering, I think, for people. Now, I know you've made some fantastic apps already, award-winning apps, but I know you've made some personal use apps just for you. What are you saving for yourself that you're not sharing? And that's it. So, <laughs> so essentially, a few months back, I was thinking, you know, so I have three banks, and um, it's really a pain to see, you know, like, like manage your finances across three different applications, and every bank have their own logins, etc. So what I try to do is, can I combine my banks into one and it will be my own personalized banking application essentially so that's what i've done and uh, i had no clue how to do it but i just went to ai um, i used like some ai tools uh, a few different ai tools to, to try and do this essentially um, and then it just taught me how to do it when it comes to uh, designing ui ux so how do we make sure that with ai incorporation we always maintain the human-centered design in place that, well, obviously you need to have um, like a little bit of knowledge as well in terms of how to, to create an application, but the AI can, te can te teach you essentially like how to do this. Um, it can just like give you uh, what are the principles that you should uh, do, you know, like, uh, and it will also review your work. So you can just, you know, like tell, okay, is this a good app? Is it not? And it will just give you the information on how to improve it and how to make it uh, very user friendly. Incredible. So you have designed apps for some award-winning banks, you know, my own uh, employer, for one. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I didn't put that in there. Um, how would you kind of, what would be the steps that you would tell the youth today on how to leverage AI for creating their own job, you know? Um, I'm guessing what you've done, there was no rule book for it, there was no job description, mm -hmm. you know, you kind of just explored and turned it into a, a role. Yeah, exactly. I think what like people should do and the youth is just to try and like make things like like simple, like just like take one step at a time. You know, we don't need to create the next like Google application today. You know, like we need, just need to like have an idea, have a concept. Like for me, like I just wanted to try and combine my banks um, and taking like you know starting from there you can just uh, ask the AI how to do it like step by step and just do some small uh, small tasks one at a time you're from you're a proud Frenchman you're from France and yet you're doing this here in Dubai is that because this is this is an environment that it's easier to do something like this yeah, definitely. I mean, Dubai is, is the hub of creativity, the hub of uh, tech, and, uh, and I think it definitely makes it easier, you know, to be surrounded by other creative people, other like tech people, and to always like see, you know, like very cool things out there. So uh, it's definitely a good motivation, I would say, like to be here and to create here. And I think anyone can, can now create things uh, even easier uh, with just like some of these AI tools. Dom, as somebody who has been a designer, been making these apps before artificial intelligence was a big thing, and you started using it, adopting it, are you slightly concerned, or do you see that there's a chance that these young people that we're talking about could have very little skill, very little, little ability, but because AI doesn't have property rights, as we discussed with Dunya, anyone can just come, tell an AI to do something, and basically steal your work that you've been working on a long time? 
yeah, it's possible to, to steal definitely. So I think there's definitely some ethics that should be there. Uh, but I think it's fine. Like uh, I see the opportunities and I see like, you know, like I just want to see more people trying to create things. And I think the more we see like products coming to life uh, and like people just being motivated and learning also, because like, like I said before, uh, AI can review your work as well and can tell you, gu guide you, you know, how to do things in, in a better way. Well, Dom, thank you very much for joining us on DXB today. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Next up, we have a company that's helping to shape the future of the AI economy by connecting top talent with world-class companies. Let's take a look. Artificial intelligence. Many say will take most human jobs, while some say it can help us do our jobs more efficiently. Both can be true. AI can compose songs, write articles, run warehouses, and even write code. But there are also areas where AI can help us. One area is job application. Islam Ashatnawi is the CEO of iApply Global, which applies for jobs on behalf of job seekers. We are using now AI in hiring. Always people say AI will take jobs. Now we are using AI to hire people. Transform such a new idea about that, how, how a job seeker goes and fill his CV, choose the country, and the AI go and search for the vacancy, not only this, and apply on his behalf. The AI-powered job application platform is only one example of how AI can make our lives easier. It also has a wealth of data on where job seekers hope to find new positions. We've hired people in Colombia and Venezuela, but if you want uh, as a st statistics about where the people are choosing, UAE is, is one of the top three. There are countless applications of artificial intelligence these days. The best thing to do would be to enjoy its benefits, but be cautious of the harm it can do. Embrace the potential. Right now, it is that time. It's time for DXB in 60. That's right. We're going to put Reem on the spot. You've had some very interesting answers about lots of different things, AI, but we want to know about you. So we're going to sure. put 60 seconds on the clock to ask you as many questions as possible in 60 seconds. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, the 60 seconds in three, two, one. If you weren't in the AI industry, where would you be working? Technology. Okay, one thing you cannot live without. My laptop. <laughs> Best series you've watched this summer? Suits. Top AI app recommendation? ChatGPT. The book you're reading at the moment? Uh, the Sheikh CEO. Top podcast recommendation? Fanjan. Favourite place to clear your mind in Dubai? The beach. <laughs> Most interesting person that you've met in the city? Uh, myself. Yourself. <laughs> top restaurant recommendation? Italy. Uh, top weekend activity? Um, the beach. Talking. <laughs> talking. If you could hang out with anybody for 24 hours, who would it be? My best friend. Who's your best friend? Abdul Mateen. <laughs> uh, your muse or your motivation? My motivation is the people around me. They give me the energy. And where is your favorite place to have lunch in the UAE? To have lunch at my grandma's house. And if you have somebody visiting Dubai for the first time, where is the first place they should go? The Museum of the Future. All right, amazing. <laughs> Reem, at the end of that, I think we got to know you very, very well indeed. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Reem, well, thank you for being our motivation and representing Emirati women in such a special way. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Pleasure Thanks. to be here. Now, after the break, it's Jay Abbo live in the studio. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 